Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's the Bromfield School. Taking on Sharon High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match between the British International School of Boston and Canton High School, British International defeated Canton to move on to the quarterfinals. Now, for today's match, we welcome the Bromfield School from the town of Harvard and uh, Sharon High School. And on the Bromfield team, we've got Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. Julian as well. Hey, Julian, how are you? Sawyer, how are you? Doing well. Uh, Ewan, how's it going? Good, thank you. And the alternates are Lana and Diesel and Coach Kathleen Doherty. And competing for Sharon, we have Richard. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Doing good. Welcome to the show, and good luck. Rhythric, how are you up there? I'm good. How are you, Billy? Great, and good luck. Hey, Zach, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, you've got a very active background there, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, it's popping, as they say on TV. And uh, hey, Andrew, how are you? Doing good, excited to get started. All right, and the alternates are Michael and Vincent and Coach Zach Snow. <laughs> Now, the competition has four rounds, toss-up, head-to-head, category, and lightning. Throughout the game, a green light is a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer was given. And we're going to start with a toss-up round. All players are active, and with the correct answer can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers, so teams, good luck to all of you. One outspoken feminist and creator of the Emmy-winning series Fleabag is only the second woman to receive a writing credit in the James Bond movie franchise for 2021's No Time to Die. Issa Rae, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, or Lena Dunham? Phoebe Waller-Bridge is the answer. Best known as the setting of Bram Stoker's Dracula, Transylvania is a historical region in the central part of what modern-day country? Romania, Serbia, or Bulgaria? Romania. In response to a restrictive new voting law signed by Governor Brian Kemp, Major League Baseball pulled its 2021 All-Star game from what U.S. state? Georgia, Arizona, or Florida? Georgia. What Roman god of the underworld is the counterpart of the Greek god Hades? Is it Pluto, Vulcan, or Mercury? Pluto is the correct answer. Take a look at your screens. What enslaved person from Missouri seen here was the plaintiff in an infamous 1857 Supreme Court decision that stripped all black Americans free or enslaved of their right to sue in federal courts because they were not citizens. Frederick Douglass, Homer Plessy, or Dred Scott? Dred Scott is the answer. Of the five least popular states, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Vermont, and Wyoming. Together, they make up just 1% of the U.S. resident population. Which of these is the smallest with fewer than 600,000 residents? Wyoming, Alaska, or Vermont? Wyoming. In the early 1900s, German scientists Fritz Haber and Karl Bosch uh, discovered how to extract what gas from the atmosphere and use it as a powerful plant fertilizer, oxygen, argon, or nitrogen? 
nitrogen. In 2021, amid protests against police violence, what creator of the Law and Order franchise announced a new spinoff that will focus on the defense side of the courtroom? David E. Kelly, Darren Starr, or Dick Wolf? Dick Wolf is the answer. The Tokugawa family ruled as shoguns of feudal Japan from 1603 to 1868, when what 15-year-old emperor was restored to the throne and began a period of dramatic modernization? Was it Showa, Meiji, or Hanazono? Meiji is the answer. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Ernie Bach Jr. and here's my question. Subaru is the Japanese name for what bright star cluster also known as the Seven Sisters? Is it the Hyades, Pleiades, or the Furies? Pleiades is the answer. In March 2021, what became the first southern state to ban capital punishment when Governor Ralph Northam signed legislation abolishing the death penalty? Virginia, North Carolina, or Georgia? Virginia. In the FX miniseries, Mrs. America, Kate Blanchett plays what conservative activist whose biggest achievement was squashing the Equal Rights Amendment in the 1970s? Is it Bella Abzug, Phyllis Schlafly, or Anita Bryant? Phyllis Schlafly is the answer. With a metro area population of 331,000, Saskatoon is the largest city in what Canadian province? Alberta, British Columbia, or Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan. Created by Belgian cartoonist uh, Hergé, what comic book series is about a young reporter who travels around the world with his dog Snowy? Is it Asterix, Tintin, or Hugo? Tintin is the answer. Which metric prefix denotes a factor of 100? Kilo, hecto, or deca? Hecto is the answer. What Berlin landmark went up in flames on February 27, 1933, an event that Adolf Hitler used to his advantage to seize power? Was it Brandenburg Gate, the Reichstag, or Berlin Cathedral? The Reichstag. A knee jerk is an involuntary action because neurons bring the stimulus information not to the brain, but to the spinal cord. What term describes this automatic response? Axon, synapse, or reflex? <laughs> reflex is the answer. What small town in the Swiss Alps was best known as a ski resort until the World Economic Forum made it synonymous with the global elite? St. Moritz, Zermatt, or Davos? <laughs> Davos. Uh, the story of a seventh grader who doesn't fit in at his mostly white private school. What 2019 title by Jerry Kraft is the first graphic novel to win the prestigious Newbery Medal? The Book of Boy, New Kid, or Long Way Down? <laughs> New Kid is the answer. Completed in 1869 with a ceremonial golden spike. What railroad connecting America's east and west coast greatly boosted the nation's economy? Western Pacific Railroad, Santa Fe Railroad, or Transcontinental Railroad? Transcontinental Railroad is the answer there. And that's the bell that ends the toss-up round. Uh, the score right now, Broadfield 490 points and Sharon High School 590 points. So let's hear it for both teams, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next, but we always like to take a few minutes to get to know the players. A bit of a rest, if you will. And we do it with a question, and here it is in my hand. Each of you will have a chance to answer, and we're going to start with the Bromfield School and you, Olivia. So here it comes. If you had to choose between joining a future colony of people on the moon or at the bottom of the ocean, which would you join and why? I'd live underwater because I think I'd be pretty bad at putting on and moving around in a spacesuit. <laughs> uh, Julian, how about you? I would also choose to live underwater because um, I want to meet Nemo. And hopefully you will. And uh, Sawyer, you? I would also choose to, lose, uh, to live underwater. Uh, commuting back and forth to, from the moon uh, to visit my family sounds difficult and expensive. <laughs> Takes a long time, too. Uh, Ewan, how about you? Uh, I would have to say the moon, ah. just because there's well, stuff that can kill me up there. 
Okay, so far we've got three water, one moon. Let's go over to Sharon High School. Richard, how about you? Same question. I like to be on the moon because I'd rather be jumping around in low gravity than being stuck in a submarine. Okay, and Rithvik? Uh, I'd probably rather be on the moon because at least you'd get a nicer view under the ocean. It's just pitch black. All right, and Zach? I'd say the moon because the Wi-Fi and the real estate views are probably better. <laughs> probably, yes. And Andrew, finally you. Uh, I'd also go with the moon just because we've explored more of their moon than the ocean, and I'd like to know what I'm getting into. All right, good answers all, but now it's time to go head to head, and I say we do that right now. Okay, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers now result in a 10-point deduction. If an answer is not given, there is no impact on the score. So, teams, good luck, and uh, here we go. The Continental Divide is a ridge of high ground that runs through what mountain chain, the Appalachians or the Rockies? The Rockies. In 1998, President Clinton offered a public apology for the failure of the U.S. to do more to stop the genocide in what country? Rwanda or Sudan? Rwanda. Uh, during digestion, proteins are broken down into what? Simple sugars or amino acids? Amino acids. England's King Henry VIII divorced how many of his wives? Two or three? Two is the answer. Anne of Green Gables is set in a fictional town in which Canadian province, Nova Scotia, or Prince Edward Island? Prince Edward Island. The Dead Sea borders Israel to the west in what country? To the east, Jordan or Egypt? Jordan. Best known for the very hungry caterpillar. What prominent author illustrator passed away in 2021 at the age of 91? Norton Juster or Eric Carl? Eric Carl. Does sound travel faster in water or air? Water is the answer there. And that's the end of the round. We take a look at the score right now. Bromfield, 550 points. Sharon High School, 630 points. And again, let's hear it for both teams. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Follow the money. All the world's a stage, lake effect, there is no planet B, a little bit chowder now, and fatal subtraction. Teams will be able to select two five-question categories and have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. Uh, teams, yes, are able to confer. Uh, Bronfield, who's the spokesperson going to be for your team? Olivia, okay. How about Sharon High School? Zach will be the spokesperson for Sharon High School. Uh, Bromfield School, you have a little ground to make up, so you do get to choose uh, the first category. What's it going to be? Any preferences? Um, no, way. Can we do fatal subtraction? All right, and here we go. These are going to be questions about math. And for 10 points, how many dots are in the mathematical symbol known as a therefore sign? Three. Three. Three is correct. Uh, for 15 points, what type of triangle has no equal sides and no equal angles? Scalene. Is it scalene? Oh. Yes. Yeah. I, I think it's scalene, yeah. Scalene. Okay, final answer, scalene. And Scalene is correct now for 20 points. A common logarithm has 10 as its base. What mathematical constant is the base of a natural logarithm, E, F, or X? It's E. e. Final answer, E. Final answer, E, Olivia? Yes. And that would be correct. And now for 25 points. In the mid-1600s, what branch of mathematics was developed independently by Isaac Newton and German mathematician Gottfried Leibniz? Calculus. Calculus. Calculus, yeah. I know the answer, calculus. And that is correct, calculus. Now for 30 points in 1900, what German scientist introduced his namesake mathematical constant, which describes the relationship between the energy carried by a photon of light and its frequency. 
Leipzig? I don't know. What'd you say? Uh, Leipzig. Okay, fine answer, Leipzig. No, Max Planck is the correct answer. And now we go to Sharon High School. Sharon, you get to choose a category. What's it going to be? Uh, all, all the world stage, guys. Uh, I think good. no planet B might be nicer. Like, it's like an astronomy one. Richard? Probably all the world's a stage. Okay, we're going to go with all the world's a stage. Okay, Zach, here we go. All the world's a stage. Questions about plays. And for 10 points, uh, John and Elizabeth Proctor are characters in what Arthur Miller play set during the Salem witch trials? The Crucible. The Crucible. The, cru the Crucible, final answer. And that's correct. The Crucible for 15 points. Hatching a plan to prove his uncle's guilt. What Shakespeare character says, the play's the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. Hamlet, I'm pretty sure. Hamlet, yeah. Hamlet. yeah. Hamlet, final answer. And Hamlet is the correct answer. Now, for 20 points, to lose one parent, Mr. Worthing, may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. Uh, this quote is from what Oscar Wilde play? Oliver Twist. Uh, Oliver Twist, final answer. And uh, no, the correct answer is the importance of being earnest. And uh, now for 25 points, Denzel Washington and Viola Davis starred in the Broadway and film adaptations of what 1985 Pulitzer Prize winning play by August Wilson. Guys? Anybody? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no answer. You're going to pass. Uh, the answer is Fences. Now, for 30 points, what magical and unique animal figurine, Laura's favorite, uh, breaks at the end of The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams? Guys? Yeah, I don't know. No answer. You're going to pass. The correct answer is uh, unicorn. Now we go back to Bromfield School. You get to choose a category. What's it going to be, guys? Any preferences? Um, no, they're right. No. I was thinking maybe follow the money or a little bit chowder now. Okay, let's do follow the money. Okay, these are questions about money and for 10 points. Who appears on the currency of at least 35 different countries, more countries than any other living monarch? The Queen of England, I think. Uh, or, or Victoria. Mm. Should we just say Queen of England? Uh, I, I don't know if that's going to be like, I, don't know I would say yeah, I don't know if they're going to count that. Yeah, I think, I think it's Queen Elizabeth. Olivia, need an answer. Um, final answer, Queen Elizabeth. Yes, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for 15 points. What billionaire Amazon executive came under fire after an investigation showed that he received $4,000 in child tax credits in recent years? Jeff Bezos? Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Okay, finance Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is correct for 20 points. What artificial satellite in low Earth orbit is the most expensive object ever built at $150 billion? Maybe the, the International, International Space yeah. Station. Yeah. Final answer, International Space Station. And that is correct. Now for 25 points. Uh, now amounting to about $3.8 billion a year, which country has received the most cumulative U.S. foreign aid since World War II, Israel, Egypt, or Vietnam? Israel. Israel? I think. Okay. Yeah. Final answer, Israel. And the correct answer is Israel. Now for 30 points in 2021, the UK unveiled a new 50 pound banknote. It features what English mathematician who led the effort to break the Nazi Enigma code during World War II? Alan Turing. Alan Turing. Alan Turing. Okay. Alan, final answer, Alan Turing. Alan Turing is correct. And now Sharon High School, we go back to you. We'll need a category. Uh, preferences, guys. Uh, I'm good with whatever I think there is. No planet beer, little chowder now. What about lake effect? It's probably about lakes. No. 
I don't know. I'd rather go with the other two. Zach? Okay, fine, then let's do There's okay. No Planet B. All right, we'll go with There's No Planet B. Okay. There is no Planet B. Questions about climate change. And for 10 points, on February 19th, 2021, the United States officially rejoined what international agreement on climate change designed to limit global warming? Paris Climate Accord. Yep. Uh, Paris Cli Climate Accord's final answer. And that's a correct answer now for 15 points. According to the EPA, after carbon dioxide, what is the second most prevalent greenhouse gas emitted in the United States from human activities? It's methane. Methane. Methane, final answer. Methane is correct for 20 points. In March 2021, what U.S. Treasury Secretary said climate change poses an existential threat to the nation's financial system? Janet Yellen. Janet, Janet Yellen. Uh, Janet Yellen, final answer. Janet Yellen is correct. Now for 25 points. In 2020, uh, the United States celebrated the 50th anniversary of what act signed by President Nixon in 1970 that resulted in a 77% decrease in the nation's air pollution? Like the... I was, I was going to say the Clean Water Act, but I don't know. But I think that makes sense. So, right. You want to know? I don't know. Zach, we need an answer. I think it's the Clean Water Act. No answer. We're going to pass. Uh, the answer is the Clean Air Act. And now for 30 points, Juliana versus United States is a climate-related lawsuit filed in 2015 by 21 youth plaintiffs. They argued that by failing to address climate change, the government had violated what constitutional amendment that protects their rights to life, liberty, or property? Fifth. It's the fifth. Okay. Uh, fifth Amendment, final answer. And Fifth Amendment is correct. And uh, that ends the category round. The score right now, Bromfield School, 690 points. Sharon High School, 710 points. This is a close match. Great job, team. Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. All players are active, and with each response, can add or subtract 20 points to their team's total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. There are 10 questions in all. Good luck, teams. This is a close one, and here we go. In 2021, what leak of almost 12 million documents exposed the secret offshore accounts of some of the world's most rich and powerful, Panama Papers or Pandora Papers? Pandora Papers. With 38,387 points, who is the NBA's all-time leading scorer, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Wilt Chamberlain? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. In 1834, what U.S. president was censured by Congress in a fight over the survival of the Bank of the United States? Andrew Jackson or Andrew Johnson? Andrew Jackson. What Australian filmmaker is the first woman to, to solo direct an MCU film Black Widow? Is it Kate Shortland or Gillian Armstrong? Kate Shortland. Hell's Canyon, the deepest canyon in the United States, lies mainly in what northwestern state, Oregon or Washington? Oregon. What is the name of the Polynesian harpooner in Moby Dick, Ishmael or Queequeg? Queequeg. What 2021 Kentucky Derby winner failed two post-race drug tests, Medina Spirit or Shared Belief? Medina Spirit. What actress plays the title character in the 1987 film The Princess Bride? Is it Jennifer Grey or Robin Wright? Robin Wright. What Middle Eastern country has a capital city of Amman? Is it Oman or Jordan? Jordan is the answer. What author included almost no dialogue in To the Lighthouse, a novel about philosophical introspection? Virginia Woolf or Emily Dickinson? Virginia Woolf is the answer there. And that's the end of the game. The winning team, Sharon High School, with a total score of 890 points. I said this was a close one. The Bromfield School, 850 points. So congratulations to both teams for a great round.
So Sharon High School moves on to play British International School of Boston in the quarterfinals. And you can join us next week for the match between Mansfield High School and Westford Academy. Until then, don't forget you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll see you next week. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org.